What's going on, y'all? This is Ear to the Streets. Um, this video today is going to be me reporting about some social media beef between popular YouTuber Hassan Campbell and popular Bronx rapper Hocus Four Fifth. Um, yesterday, Hassan put out a video where he's um, addressing the whole um, Pop Smoke incident and he's basically um calling out rappers who pretty much promote um rappers who like promoting violence and negative shit and he must he called out sex money murder and he spoke on their og pistol pete and hocus four fifth felt the way about it and he took the instagram with this. Now, let me address you real quick, Hocus Four Fifth. For one, I was, I was a supporter of you. That's for one. But fuck all that, because the disrespecting came out of your mouth. It is what it is. Now, let's keep it all the way funky, right? Sex, money, murder, gang, right? You creeping up on 40 years old if you ain't 40. Sex, money, murder, gang. Listen to your music. Listen to your music. See, Jada Kiss, how they say? They spit them grown man bars. Ain't nothing grown man about that shit that you spitting out of your mouth. Let's keep it all the way funky. All the way funky. At some point in time, you old heads got to take responsibility for the shit that you spewing out of your mouth. Nah, you don't want to do that. A lot of y'all cats don't want to reflect and look, the, look in the mirror and see what y'all doing. Y'all leading them young boys to the hellfire. And that's the bottom line to it. You don't like what I said? Well, yeah, I said it. I said it. It is what it is, man. I said it. I'm not going to bite my tongue. The reality of it is I said it before and I say it again. Pete, he sent that hit. And this is public information. He sent that hit against his friend. Had his man murdered. He had his man murdered. For snitching. Twin was in snitching. The district attorney was talking to O's mother, right? Pete copped out to all of those bodies so his mother wouldn't go to jail. But nevertheless, right, he sent his mans on a doja mission and had all of them come to jail with him. He knew the feds was watching. That was sucker shit. You don't like it, so what? I said it. That's the bottom line. Y'all don't like the truth. Y'all want to sit up there and paint beautiful lies. Y'all want to sit up there and paint beautiful lies. You dudes is running around 40 years old throwing up gang sets. You throwing up gang sets at 40 years old. Not only are you doing that, but the music that you putting out, you are not waking up the youth. You are a part of the problem. You want to profit off of the death. Your set already profited off the death of all of the bodies throughout the goddamn city and throughout the states. And now your, mu your music, your, li your lyrics is contri contributing. To destroying our people. And you think that nobody ain't supposed to say something about what's going on? Y'all want to sit up there and say, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. But your music is what killed Pop Smoke. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Your music is what killed him. Take responsibility. Nah, you don't want to do that. Every fucking song y'all put out, you talking about blazing your gun. On who? On who y'all blazing your gun on? Y'all not fighting. The people who kidnapped us on stolen land, kidnapped, kidnapped us and oppressed us. When y'all get locked out, I, locked up, I don't see how I don't see y'all running up in the precincts or running up in the courtrooms, snatching your brother out. No, but y'all willing to go snatch on a block and snatch somebody's soul. But meanwhile, the oppressor is coming in, the conqueror is coming in and conquering your land, conquering your brother and snatching them on the same boats, the same ship that put your brother in jail. Y'all ain't fighting the power. No, you fighting your community. And you mad because I'm sitting up there speaking on the ugly shit that y'all niggas is doing. The reason why Pop Smoke is dead is because of y'all lyrics. Because of his own lyrics. Y'all don't take responsibility to the death spells you spit out of your mouth. Every goddamn song is some ignorant shit. And y'all look like a bunch of old heads trying to be 19 years old. Y'all niggas is going on 40 years old living your second childhood. Explain that shit. It's ass backwards. Now, all that shit, shit you said about Bam Bada, yeah, I hear that. And all that shit about me not being outside, if you got an issue with me, you hit me in my DM, man to man, face to face, just me and you. 
Not no crews, not nobody else, and we can have a conversation. Me and you like men. Not 30 niggas. Not 30 dudes, me and you. That's it. But the reality of it is, I don't wish no harm to you, brother. You can't sit up there and sell crack, coke, dope through your lyrics. Blaze guns through your lyrics or sell crack, coke, dope in the streets and then talk about you out here helping these young boys. That is a lie. If that's the case, you doing the same thing Ben Bada did. At nighttime, laying down with the little boys. Well, at nighttime, what you doing is your lyrics is putting kids to rest. And you think that you doing something. You ain't helping nobody. As long as you spitting those lyrics and you promoting that gangster life and you promoting. Do you know how many mothers cried? How many mothers cried over the shit that was done in these streets? And this is what you sang about. But if your mother had to cry over one of your brothers or sisters, you wouldn't think that's funny and she wouldn't think it's funny. This is what we doing to each other. You don't want to hear that? I can't apologize to you for us contributing more death to our own people. Take responsibility. Man up. They got a such thing as grown man bars. Why you ain't spitting it? Nope. Because you know in the industry they look for us to spit death. They, you know that. You know that. And the sad part about it is, you know that you're too old to be in a rap game. They don't really want you. So instead of you using your muscle and your energy to kick down that door.